Hey, everybody. Welcome to Yogi Flat. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, just a little heads up. I'm a little congested tonight, so I'll try my best um, to uh, not sneeze and that kind of thing. But if, you know, my voice gets a little wonky, it's just because of that. Um, so tonight we have a um, all around move your body type of class like we usually do with Vinyasa Flow. Um, and we're going to do a little more focus on twists tonight. Sometimes it's nice to have that twisty love. So um, props are easy tonight. Just uh, block if you have one would be good. And I invite everybody to uh, join me in Sukhasana. So Sukhasana or easy pose or cross-legged pose. You could do um, cross-legged, half lotus, whatever you like. And, and I invite you to inhale through your nose. And then exhale again through your nose. And as you uh, continue to breathe, finding your yogi breath. After you inhale, pausing at the top. And then as you exhale, pausing at the bottom. So as you continue to breathe here, I invite you to sit up just a little bit taller, letting those shoulders drop down your back. Maybe letting your breath fall into a rhythm. Opening up that collarbone to the ceiling. And I invite you to take your hand and just place it on your lower abdomen underneath your belly button. And as you're inhaling through your nose, inhale all the way down so you can feel your belly rise as you inhale. And after you pause, bring your lower belly in on the exhale. So we're gonna do that a couple more times. Breathing all the way through your lungs. Allowing that lower abdomen to rise as you inhale. And then feeling it come in or constrict as you exhale. And on your next exhale, I invite you to do a kegel. So that's like, you know, when you really have to pee and you kind of hold it in, that's kind of like a kegel. And then as you exhale, you release the kegel. And as you know, in my other classes, we've talked a lot about Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is drawing in that lower pelvic floor like a kegel. And on your next inhale, once again, drawing in that inner pelvic floor or kegel, imagine drawing the energy up as you're locking those muscles together. And then as you exhale, releasing everything and letting your tummy fall in, draw in. So that's your pelvic floor. As you're looking for stability and grounding through your yoga practice, why not draw on that? Draw on your mula bandha. finding that stability and that grounding. All right, I invite you to just place your hands on your knees. And on an exhale, we're gonna tilt our head so that our right ear is heading towards our right shoulder. We're gonna release 
the urge to lift our shoulder up to our ear and just allow our ear to drop down towards our shoulder. As we continue to breathe, we're going to inhale up and exhale, now drawing our left ear to our left shoulder. Once again, allowing those shoulder blades to drop down your back. And on inhale, coming to center. And on an exhale, we'll just tilt our head back. For a breath here. And on our next exhale, we're gonna tilt our head to neutral and then bring our chin down towards our chest. And kind of bringing your chin in like you're making a double chin. Activating that Jalahara Bandha. Breathing in through those neck muscles at the back. Continuing to drop your shoulders down your back, your shoulder blades. Then we're going to inhale, look up. We're going to um, go into some eagle arms here. So we're going to take your left elbow, put it underneath your right elbow. Bring your palms somewhat together. And as you continue to breathe, just drawing your elbows out away from your body. So you feel that nice stretch through your shoulders. And on your next exhale, we'll release and just switch. So now your left elbow is underneath your right. Continuing to breathe here. Pushing your elbows once again out and away from your body. Breathing through that stretch through your shoulders. And on the exhale, we'll release. And on our next inhale, we're going to draw our navel in. Taking our right hand, putting it on our left knee, left hand behind us. And as we exhale, we're going to twist through our waist to the left. Nice strong core here. And on the exhale, we'll come to center. Same thing on the other side, inhaling, drawing inner navel. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, just for balance. And on an exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. Sitting up tall here. Drawing in that navel. And always breathing. And on an exhale, we'll come to center. We're gonna take our blocks out from under us and we're gonna strategically place them in front of us for our future pose. And then we're gonna come on to our hands and knees, coming into tabletop with a nice neutral back here, drawing in our uh, navel, looking straight ahead. Make this a nice active pose, spread your fingers out. And on an inhale, we'll raise our forehead and tailbone to the ceiling. And on an exhale, we're gonna crunch in, Curving our spine, forehead, tailbone facing the mat. Inhaling back up to cow, releasing your abdominal muscles. And exhaling into cat. Do this a few more times on your own. Moving through your shoulders. 
noticing how your spine curves one way and then the other. And then we're all going to meet in tabletop. Looking ahead, drawing in that navel. On an exhale, we're going to flip our feet, come into our first downward dog. Maybe sway a little bit side to side here. Do what your body needs. Might need to pedal your feet a bit. And then settling into your downward dog, keeping those fingers spread, pushing through the top parts of your um, palm or the fleshy part underneath your fingers. Your gaze moving up towards your thighs or your navel. Might even want to try bending your knees a little bit here, see how that feels. And on your next exhale, bending your knees like a frog, inhaling big step up towards your hands, walking your feet up to the top of the mat, exhaling down into forward fold, bending those knees enough so you can touch the mat, inhaling up halfway into Ardha Uttanasana, exhaling back down, hands to the mat, and then inhaling all the way up. Into salute, little back bend there. Exhaling your hands down through prayer. And we'll find ourselves in Tadasana. So as you ground yourself in Tadasana, allowing your shoulder blades drop down your back. Drawing that energy up through the mat. Maybe spreading your toes. Drawing that navel in. We're going to inhale our hands up, bringing them to bringing our palms together. And on an exhale, we're just going to tilt our fingertips towards the right, coming into half moon. Gaze up at the ceiling. Order uh, ahead of you, inhaling up. On an exhale, we'll point our fingers towards the left, grounding through your feet. Breathing up along the right hand side of your body. Inhaling, coming to salute. And as we exhale, we'll bring our hands down into forward fold. Once again, bending our knees so that our hands can touch the floor. Inhaling up. Halfway into Ardha Uttanasana, exhaling your hands back down. We're going to take a step back with our right foot, coming into low lunge. We're going to drop our knee down here. And I just invite you to move your front foot out a little bit to the left. And on the inhale, we're going to come up, hands on our hips, making sure that our front knee is over top of our front ankle. Looking ahead here. And on the inhale, we're going to raise our hands into crescent. Coming into a low crescent lunge. Drishti can be straight ahead. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can try looking up. And on an exhale, we're going to bring our hands down to either side of our foot. Inhaling our legs straight. And then we're going to try another lunge. So we're going to inhale our hands to our hips. And if that feels okay for you, you can inhale your hands up into the air. You can bring your palms together if that feels okay, or keep them out. Exhaling our hands down now to meet on either side of our foot. We're going to take our left foot back to meet our right, coming into plank, holding for a yoga breath. And as you're in plank, maybe pushing your heels back just a little bit to activate uh, your hamstrings, your calves. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower down to our tummies, 
Inhaling into baby cobra. Just a reminder, you don't have any pressure on your hands here. They could be in the air actually. So you're lifting through your chest and through your abdominal muscles. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up into tabletop and exhaling into downward dog. Pushing that tailbone up towards the ceiling. Spreading those fingers. And being sure that your heels are tucked behind your feet so you can't see them. And as we exhale, we're gonna bend our knees. Inhaling, big step up, both feet to the top of the mat. Exhaling down, forward fold. Inhaling up, halfway, hands to your shins or your knees. Some people even put their hands on their thighs. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up all the way to salute. Little bit of back bend here. Exhaling down, third prayer, some stiti to Tanasana. All right, good job, you guys. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhaling our hands up to the ceiling. To salute. Exhaling our hands down to the floor. Bending our knees in forward fold or Uttanasana. Inhaling up halfway to Ardha Uttanasana. Exhaling hands back down. Stepping back this time with our left foot. We're gonna come into a low lunge. As you can see, my knees above my ankle. We're gonna drop our knee here. And I'm, I'm gonna scooch my right foot out just a little bit. So I widen my stance. And then I'm going to inhale up, hands on the hips. And if that feels good, I'm going to inhale my hands up into the air into crescent lunge. Once again, your drishti can be straight ahead or looking up at the ceiling, allowing those shoulders to fall down your back. Nice strong leg muscles here. And as we exhale, we're going to take our hands back down on either side of our foot. We're gonna inhale that back leg up. And then when we're ready, we're gonna bring our hands to our hips. And you can totally stay here or you can take the option to inhale your hands into the air. Coming into a crescent lunge. You can take that option woo, to look up or look straight ahead. Exhaling our hands now back down to other side of our foot. We're going to take our right foot back to meet our left. Coming into plank once more, pushing those heels back behind us. Looking straight ahead, exhaling, lowering down. Inhaling up, baby cobra. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up to tabletop and exhaling to downward. So if you feel those shoulders bunching up around your uh, neck, just imagine them dropping back down towards your waist. One more breath here. And then exhale, bend our knees, inhaling our feet up to the top of the mat. Exhaling down to forward fold. Inhaling up halfway, looking straight ahead, exhaling back down, hands to the mat, and then inhaling up all the way to salute. Little back bend, exhaling down, palms together, and then back to Tadasana. Great job, everybody. All right, we're going to inhale our hands up. And this time, as we exhale, we're gonna bring our hands into prayer, bending our knees, coming into chair. I'm always peeking to see if I can see the top of my toes here. And then once that's good, looking forward, maybe sinking down a little lower. And on your next exhale, we're gonna move into revolved chair. So we're gonna take our right elbow, put it on, on the, like tuck it around our left knee. 
and then turning our core towards the left. Maybe sinking down a little bit lower if you can. You're feeling it tonight. Inhaling to center. And as we exhale, we're going to take our left elbow now and hook it around our right knee. Drishti's up towards the ceiling, or it can be straight ahead. Nice strong core here. And on our next exhale, coming to center, holding this for one breath. Inhaling and then as we exhale, hands towards the mat, coming into forward fold, inhaling up halfway. Exhale, back down, right foot comes back into a low lunge, and then left foot comes back to meet it, coming into a plank. Gaze forward as we lower ourselves down, elbows hugging in towards our body. Inhaling up into baby cobra. Exhaling back down, inhaling up to tabletop and exhaling to downward dog. Always taking that quick check at your fingers to make sure they're spread wide. Pushing that tailbone up towards the ceiling as you gaze towards your navel or your upper thighs. And on your next exhale, we're going to bend our knees. Big step forward to the top of the mat. Exhaling down, forward fold. Inhaling up halfway. Exhaling our hands back down. This time we're going to take our right foot and step it back. <clears throat> so our left knee is over top of our left ankle and we're going to come on up. Our back feet, our back foot's Turned about 45 degrees so that our pelvis is pointing towards the right hand corner of the mat. Hands on the hips, or you can raise your hands into the air, coming into warrior one. Drawing that navel in here, nice strong legs, balancing between both feet. Dropping those shoulders down your back. And on an inhale, we're going to straighten our leg. We're going to pivot our feet so that they are parallel, the front and the back of the mat. This is where your block's going to come in handy, so that's why we put it in front of us here. Uh, we're going to inhale our hands up. And as we exhale, we're going to bring our hands down towards our block, giving our knees a little bit of a micro bend. So <clears throat> inhaling, looking up. Exhaling. And so your block is kind of under you where you would be if you were about to walk your hands back into a um, wide legged forward fold. That's where your block would be. Alternatively, you could also have your hand on the mat. <clears throat> on the inhale, we're going to take our left hand, raise it up, palm facing the left. Reminding you to keep that micro bend in your knees a little bit. And your gaze or your drishti can be straight ahead or up at the ceiling. Exhaling your left hand down. Same thing on the other side. We're going to inhale the right hand up. Palm facing the right. Reaching towards the ceiling here. One more breath. And exhaling your hands both down. Inhaling, we're going to look up. And as we exhale now, we're going to walk our hands between our legs. You might even widen your stats a little bit here by scooching your feet out. Your elbows are facing behind you. Ensuring you have that little micro bend in your knees. 
and continuing to breathe here. And on the inhale, we're gonna come up halfway, hands, hips. Exhale in here. And as you inhale, engaging your core and coming up all the way. And as we exhale, we're gonna scooch our feet in a little bit if you scooch them out. And then we're gonna turn our feet so that our right foot, our toes are facing the top of the mat and our left back foot is open up about 45 degrees. We're gonna bend our right knee over top of our right leg. And our pelvis, you'll find, is facing now the top left of your mat. Inhaling your hands to your hips. And if that feels good, inhaling your hands up into the air. Warrior one, you can have your hands together, your palms touching, or they can be open up towards the ceiling. Once again, letting those shoulders drop down your back. And on your next exhale, taking your hands, putting them on the other side of your foot. Taking that right foot down the back to meet your left. Coming into plank. Nice strong core here. And of course, there's always the option to put your knees down. Exhaling down all the way. Inhaling into baby cobra. Exhaling back down. Inhaling into tabletop. And once we've got ourselves aligned, exhaling, lifting our bum to the sky into downward dog. Maybe trying to put those heels a little closer to the mat. And on exhale, we'll bend our knees, inhaling, walking now towards the back of our mat, exhaling down, nice forward fold here, inhaling up halfway into that Ardha Uttanasana, exhaling down to Uttanasana, forward fold, and then inhaling up all the way into the loop, giving that little back bend. Oh, I almost forgot. And as we exhale, keeping those hands into prayer, bending our knees into chair, holding for a couple of yoga breaths here. Drishti straight ahead. And on the inhale, coming all the way up. Exhaling, dropping our hands down to our side. Back to Tadasana. Great job, guys. So we're going to move into our standing pose of the series. Um, it's, it's dancer pose. I'm going to turn this way just so that you can see me a little more central here. <clears throat> so I invite you to stand with your feet about hip distance apart. So we're going to uh, transfer our weight to our right hand side. And we're just going to take a step back with our left. And as we inhale, we're going to grab our left foot with our left hand. Maybe take your right hand to your hips. And you're more than welcome to stay here if this is feeling good for you. If you want to go a little further, you can bend forward, pushing that uh, pressure, pushing with your foot into your hand. And then you can inhale your right hand into the air. Taking that form of dancer that works for you tonight. Maybe giving your standing uh, leg a little bit of a bend. One more breath here. And exhaling, we're gonna release. All right, same thing on the other side. So we're gonna shift our weight now to our left foot. Taking a step back with our right. Just a little one. We're going to inhale our right foot into our right hand. Our left hand is on our hip. 
Once again, pushing our foot into our hand. And if it feels okay, raising your left hand into the air. Leaning forward. A lot of stuff going on with Dasa Pose. Keeping that left hand active in the air while you're pushing your foot into your hand in the back. And on an exhale, we'll release. Good job, everybody. All right. So I'm going to meet you guys back at the back of the mat here. I invite you to turn to face the back of the mat. I'm going to inhale our hands up into the sky. As we exhale, we're going to bring our hands down to forward fold. And then we're going to caterpillar ourselves into plank. Taking a breath here. We're going to lower all the way down. And uh, tonight we're going to come into Sphinx. So you're going to take your elbows and put them where your hands were, which is going to naturally raise your shoulders up. And then as you inhale, you're going to open up your collar, boom, to the ceiling. Maybe push down on the tops of your feet there. Activate your feet. This is a nice, gentle back bend. And on your next exhale, we'll lower back down. We're going to inhale ourselves into tabletop. And as we exhale, we're going to come into one more downward dog. This one's a special downward dog. So once you've uh, gotten yourself lined up here in downward dog, check to see that your fingers are spread. Maybe shorten your stance a little bit. Shorten the distance between your hands and your feet if you can. And as you exhale, you're just going to reach around and grab your right ankle with your left hand. So your drishti can be straight ahead, or you can look up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, releasing. Taking a moment in downward dog. Inhaling. Same thing on the other side. You can take your right hand and grab your left ankle. And kind of pull your body under your right or your left armpit. Maintaining your balance of your weight between both feet here, not pushing too far on the left. Exhaling, releasing. We're just going to drop our knees, open up our knees a little bit, bringing our feet somewhat together. We're going to exhale ourselves down into child pose. So you can choose to take that more active child's pose where you're pushing your fingers into the mat. Or you can take that more restorative child's pose, having your arms around your body. Resting your forehead on the mat. And on the inhale, we're going to come on up sitting. We're going to grab our block. We're going to have a seat on our block here. We're going to start with our feet out in front of us, coming into staff pose on the block. So you're sitting up tall. Your feet are activated. Your toes are pointing towards your forehead. Hands are down by your side. And on an exhale, we're just going to reach running our hands either alongside our mat or along our legs, reaching down towards our either our shins, ankles, or our feet, inhaling, looking up, and exhaling forward and fold. Folding forward here.
One more breath here. Inhaling, we're gonna come back up through staff. And then we're going to take our left foot and put it on the right side of our knee. And we're gonna take our right leg and just bend it in. This is what we like to call the pretzel twist. If this is uncomfortable, you can definitely leave this leg, uh, right leg straight if that feels better for you. <clears throat> we're gonna inhale sitting up, right hand is on our knee, left hand's behind us. And as we exhale, we're gonna to twist to our left, twisting through our navel. Engage, engaging our abdominal muscles. Let me just look into our left here as we continue to sit up straight. Breathing. And on the exhale, we're going to come to center. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to take our left foot, straighten it out, straighten out our right leg. So take our right foot now, put it on the outside of our left knee, and then we're just going to bend our left leg. Oops. Yoga pants went crazy. So once again, engaging that core and drawing in that navel, left hand touching the left, the right knee, right hand behind you, inhaling, sitting up tall, and as we exhale, we're going to twist to our right. On your next exhale, coming forward. All right. Now we're going to take our blocks out from under us. We're going to come into sitting with our knees up, feet on the mat. We're going to move into boat pose here. So as we exhale, we're going to just lean back here, keeping a nice straight back and inhaling our feet into the air. So you can keep your hands on your knees. You can take your hands away from your knees. You can do one or the other, kind of play with it a bit. Maintaining a nice straight back here. You could always take that option to straighten your legs tonight. I'm not going to, but feel free to. Exhaling down. Good job, you guys. We're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna lean back. We're gonna inhale our legs up. Just be straight ahead. You take the boat that works for you tonight. Now we're gonna exhale our feet down. Hello, Winnie. And then we're gonna come onto our backs, keeping our knees in the air. All right, so tonight we're gonna do bridge. Um, so uh, don't look at me. Like I always say, you want to keep your neck straight. So you want to keep your forehead facing the ceiling here. You're going to keep your knees in the air and you're going to scoot your ankles into as close as your bum as you can get them. Your palms are on the floor, um, flat down on your mat. And then as you inhale, you're going to raise your pelvis into the sky, into the air. And then if that feels okay, you're going to take your hands, clasp them behind your back, giving yourself just an extra little lift here. Try not to clench your butt cheeks, instead working through your thighs. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower down. Then we're going to take our knees and draw them into our chest. Giving ourselves a nice little hug and recline child's pose. And as you're drawing your knees towards your chest, you're going to allow your shoulder blades to stay on the mat and attempt to drop your shoulders down to the mat as well.
Next, we're gonna to move to happy baby. So you can take your hands, run them through between your legs and either grab your toes, your ankles, or the outside of your feet. So your knees are bent towards your chest. And as you inhale, you're gonna raise your soles up towards the ceiling. I don't know about you guys, but my body always naturally rocks when I go into happy baby. So it just kind of naturally makes me smile too. Whether you're smiling or not, I encourage you to continue to breathe here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna release our feet, allowing our soles to come once again to the mat. We're gonna straighten our left leg out, keeping our right knee bent. We're gonna put our arms in cactus or in a T. We're gonna inhale our foot into the air with our knee bent. And as we exhale, we're gonna drop our right foot and knee to the left as we turn our heads to the right. If you find this uncomfortable, you can always take your block and put it underneath your knee to give it some extra support at whatever height works for you. Couple more breaths here. Just allowing gravity to push that knee further down. And on the inhale, we'll bring our right knee back into the air. And our forehead facing the ceiling. We're gonna exhale that foot down. So both legs are straight. We're gonna inhale the right knee into the air now, the right foot in the air. And as we exhale, we're gonna let that right knee fall, or sorry, left knee fall to the right as we twist to the left. It's the opposite one. So you're doing it with the other one now. Couple more breaths here. And we'll inhale our knee back into the air, forehead facing the ceiling, and then we'll exhale our leg down. So now both legs are straight. So we're going to set up for Shavasana now. I invite you to take whatever last posture you need to do, maybe hugging your knees into your chest. And you take the Shavasana that you need tonight. So your knees could be bent. They could be, your legs could be straight. Allowing your feet to fall out from one side and the other. Maybe your palms are facing up. Maybe you gotta squiggle around a little bit to get comfy. And once you're in that place of peace, I invite you to just let your breath go. Let it fall into its natural rhythm.
allowing your tongue to fall away from your teeth. Relaxing your cheeks, in your forehead, in your chin, jaw. And maybe mentally just making a note of each place your body touches the floor. Finding that support.
I invite you to bring your awareness just to your breath. Noticing that natural rise and fall of your tummy as you breathe or your chest. And then maybe start to move your fingers and your toes. Then move in your arms or your legs, however you need to. Slowly start to wake yourself up. Giving your body those little movements that feel good for you. And then when you're ready, we'll just turn on our sides, resting our head on our arms. Taking this moment to find gratitude for yourself. Recognize you're looking after yourself, taking the time you need to focus on you. When you're ready, we'll come on up to sitting. <clears throat> Thanks so much, you guys, for coming tonight, sharing your practice with me. Peace. 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 Namaste.